What's good everyone? Welcome back to Empire Watch Club. Like the title says, I got rid of all my APs. I traded them, sold them, and you know, good riddance. Goodbye and peace the fuck out. And uh, I have welcomed a couple new watches that I really want to share with you guys. A couple bomb ass watches, grails, and also dailies. But the very first watch that I want to share on EWC is my very first Retremule 6701 in rose gold and factory gem set diamonds. So before we unbox the RM, I am going to talk about Empire Fest 2023. Empire Motor Club.com So everyone go get yours. 预售票300元台币 当天只能去EMC的摊位哦,其他摊位 does not take all these tickets, so don't forget. The last EMC update I have for you guys is that we just dropped the new green and yellow Old English font EMC logo tee. Uh, on the back of the t-shirt, we have the Old English EMC font right here, but we paired it up with the pattern that we always use on our shields, uh, which is found on ancient Chinese armors. Now, let's get into the RM. My first ever Richard Mill unboxing on EWC. I have to admit, I've already unboxed it before. I've actually changed the strap already. I've worn it for a couple weeks. And never say never, people. Never say fucking never. I never thought I would be here with an RM. But now, I'm here. And I want to show you guys the box first. Uh, it's quite simple. It's techy, new age. Uh, I love the design. Black, tonneau shaped, um, just like their watch case. Uh, it comes in one of these. I don't know what the other watches come in. I've never owned another RM, but it does come with papers. Everything's signed. This watch uh, was from 2019. So it also comes with a carbon fiber Richard Meal activation warranty card. Um, and I guess this was bought in Japan. This is what's important. Let me show you guys. Bam. Here it is. It's not any old 6701. This is full factory gem set. Uh, diamonds everywhere. I'm the rig man. I, I had to get something in rose gold. I guess they call it red gold at RM. I just want to give a shout out to my homeboy, Henry. Henry son, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You know, you always find me the sickest watches. You know, if you guys are looking for special, dope, sick grails, you know, go to Henry. He only deals in grails. I mean, he can find you dailies. He can find you sick watches. Uh, but, you know, he's one of those guys that just knows people. And uh, yeah, big shout out to you, brother. Anyway, why did I choose the 6701 rather than all the other RMs? Well. I never liked RM, <laughs> to be honest. I actually laughed at RM before. I thought that they're funny looking watches. Um, I, I do like their ton of shaped cases, but a lot of their watches were too big. Uh, they use different types of materials, different types of carbons. Uh, I see a lot of athletes, F1 drivers, a lot of celebrities wear them. And I knew that it was hyped. Uh, the watches demanded crazy premiums during the hype and a lot of the prices were way too far and above that I just never really thought to own it because I thought maybe one day it would come crashing down and lo and behold I guess the watch market did come crashing down and it's made a lot of these grails and a lot of these watches more affordable and um, I acquired this one through a trade. Uh, this watch was I would say 25% more expensive than when I got it, maybe even 30%. Um, I really like the fact that it's got like 32 black diamonds on the side. 16 here, 16 here, um, just the little details. And then you also have 16 here and 16 here. So totaling 64 
tiny little black diamonds. Uh, these are little things that stand out for me. Uh, also, this open work dial. Uh, it, it reminds me of car parts or something. Like, it, it reminds me of when you open up an engine um, and you look at all the parts. There's a lot going on, uh, but it also looks like an instrument cluster somehow. There's little gauges or something. It looks really cool, it looks racy. RM is heavily and deeply involved with motorsports, F1, racing. So I guess these design cues just fit. And you know, I love cars, EMC. You know, this, this definitely just fits. The hands, the hands are like this long triangular shape. It's kind of like an arrow. Um, these needles, you know, they're, they're more modern. I like the design of it. Uh, it grows on you and the numbers, um, at first, I didn't really like them that much, but they've been growing on me, you know? And I gotta say, the back, the rotor is really beautiful. Uh, it's platinum. Everything is see-through in the case back. Uh, the movement, okay, so this is the first time that they have an in-house movement, all made by RM themselves. So this is a CRMA6 caliber and it's developed by RM, and it's only 3.6 millimeters. This is why this watch is so thin. So I do wanna talk about this deployment clasp. Uh, it took some time getting used to. It's made from titanium and rose gold, but it's got this little snap to it. I don't know if you guys can tell. You can hear that, right? Um, so you just kinda of let it snap into place. There's no there's nothing that snaps in. There's no lever. It's not like the deployments or the butterflies or whatever you see on APs, PPs, or Rolex. Uh, this is different. It's literally just very easy to open and close. And uh, it's even got all diamonds right here, which just makes it extra bling for me and I fucking love it. And it came with an orange rubber strap. I did not like it. However, all of my RM friends tell me to keep it because they think the louder the better. Uh, I went with a gray croc strap. It's leather, it's classy. Um, I know that all the RMs are actually super sporty, but my first one, I still wanted to keep it in line with all my other watches because all my other watches are a little more elegant compared to all of the other RMs. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just not sure where the RM market is at, but you know, they've been around for a little over 20 years now, and it seems like they're still going strong. Um, I know that AP is a shareholder, about 10% of RM, so I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for that. And I know a lot of you guys, AP fanboys out there, will probably give me a lot of shit over that, but whatever, I don't really care. Um, I'm happy with this. I just wanted to share this. Now I'm gonna wear it for you guys and I really hope you guys enjoyed what I had to talk about, but yeah. Eat your hearts out, people. You know, the rig man is wearing an RM. This is my very first one. I'm proud of it, I love it. And yeah, it's super flashy, but it's super me. And I do just, you know, want to play around with the straps. I might order a new one. I know a lot of the arm guys really want me to go super gaudy with all the different like flamboyant colors. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about RMs. Let me know what you guys think about this particular RM6701 factory gem set diamonds in rose gold. And let me know if it fits me, man. But I do want to share more watches that I acquired the last two months. There's some really, really special ones that I can't wait to show everyone. But, you know, guys, keep watching EWC. And remember to support EMC and Empire Fest 2023. Go get your tickets, EmpireMotorClub.com. And remember, we got the new yellow and the green Old English font EMC logo tees. So, guys, I'll see you on the next one. And we'll talk more watches soon. And I'll see you guys at Empire Fest 2023. Peace the fuck out.